A mysterious respiratory illness has hit a second assisted living facility in Fairfax County. The county health department says 25 people have gotten sick at the Heatherwood retirement community in Burke. Now, no one there has died and health officials say there is no direct link to the mystery illness that is causing people to get sick both at Greenspring nursing home facility in Springfield where three people died. 63 people were sick there. 19 employees have reported symptoms too. The county health department says they haven't found the cause just yet, and the truth is they may never be able to do that. In older adults, we have a number of outbreaks of respiratory illnesses that occur every year that we investigate. Um, many of those are caused by influenza, but of the outbreaks that are not flu, um, there are some where we never identify the etiology. It's just uh, difficult to do the testing and to identify the cause in older adults. Wow, could it have been flu in July? We'll have to find out, hopefully. The CDC has tested the facility and they're still waiting for those results. I, health officials in two labs are trying to pinpoint what's causing the mystery illness that's spreading through a Fairfax County retirement community. Dozens of people have been sickened and two deaths could be connected. ABC 7's Jay Korf is on your side tonight at the facility in Springfield. Jay? Yeah, that's the big concern. They just don't know what they have here. They've conducted a number of tests in labs throughout the region. In fact, throughout the state, they've ruled a couple of things out like influenza and strep, but they know that there are a lot of other possibilities. We don't know if the ambulance quickly leaving Green Spring Retirement Community in Springfield is for yet another elderly resident sickened by a disease outbreak that has hospitalized at least 18 residents. Two have died. Health officials are not sure those deaths are connected to the outbreak, but concede it's possible. But what Fairfax County Director of Epidemiology, Dr. Benjamin Schwartz, is telling us is that while respiratory outbreaks are not uncommon in assisted living facilities, this one has his full attention. I think what stands out to me is the number of cases that have occurred in a fairly short period of time. Dr. Schwartz says the first case hit June 30th. With the bulk of illnesses coming over the weekend, symptoms usually start off with just a cough, but others have come down with pneumonia. He says the facility informed the county Tuesday, all cases from one building, Garden Ridge, where residents require more care. In this letter to residents, Green Spring officials said, visitation to Garden Ridge has been suspended until further notice. We ask that no Garden Ridge residents, healthy or sick, leave their respective neighborhoods.